Hey everybody, welcome back to J&J Tabletop. Today we have episode seven of Vecna, Eve of Ruin. We are, yeah, it is seven, good. Uh, We're in the middle of chapter two. We have some fun stuff going on. But before I get into that, I will be your dungeon master this evening. And with me, as always, we have Lee from youtube.com slash at this crits. And Michael, you can find him at Master or Mr. Yoda underscore I underscore am. And of course, as always, J and J Tabletop. What would it be without Jacob Tabletop? It's or a me. J and Jake underscore. <laughs> Um, JJ Table. Ajario. <laughs> there you go. Uh, one of the J's is Jario. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's you a fact. do the math. Hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> okay. um, but JJ Tabletop. Hmm. What is JJ Tabletop? It is a place where all of your wildest dreams come true. Not only do you have Eve of Ruin gameplay starting at episode seven, but you have dungeon master's guides, you have player's guides, you have weird accents, you have goofy people, it's and it's uh, it's really just the best place in community, so you should hit the subscribe button, the like button, watch all the videos. And Jake doing that accent is okay because I'm Puerto Rican. Right. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't tell what it was, it went all over the place. It changed, no, it totally it changed. Did, it changed. Did jump a bunch. It morphed, but, you but know, it landed. I heard, I heard it landed Latin as American, Ramon, sort of. So, yeah. Sort of. <laughs> um, you killed my accent. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> I will say uh, youtube.com slash at this crits. It's, it's a great place to go. One, if you want more information and more spells to have more fun in the game. And then in general, this guy's just making D&D fun. Honestly, true. his edits are, are um, unmatched. Like genuinely, nobody has better edits than this guy. What Pointy hat. Come on, get out of here. Um, so yeah, check him out. Links in the doobly doo. Bananas. Um, and uh, before we get into things, I want to get Michael's opinion. Um, Michael, you had choice words for people who were tuning into episode six for the very first time. How do you <laughs> feel about people who are tuning into episode seven as their first uh, first entrance to our Eve of Ruin playthrough? You know, do you? Okay. All right. Yeah. More of a resigned <laughs> approach. Like it's he's not just... mad. He's just disappointed. I'm disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, disappointed. I am. You know what? I yes. have to admit, I appreciate that. I didn't get that from my dad growing up because he was gone. So I appreciate it, Michael. Right, there you go. So so you have episode one and episode five. Those are the sweet spots. If you appreciate approval from yeah. Michael, uh, yeah. and personally, it means the world. <laughs> So, I'm into it. Don't watch episode one, you freaking sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> that's Lee's opinion. So, you know, that's uh, you know, actually, it's you know, like what? a I cow's take it opinion. Back. You know? I, it's a I actually, I, d <laughs> yes, a movie. This point. intro. I do, I do have one other thing to say. If you are going to start this episode, watch them all backwards. Watch Ooh. go seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's like the Star no, Wars. Don't go to ordering. seven to one. Nope. Just seven backwards and just, you know, that's really go all out. Yeah. That's no, really it's a bad, it's a bad idea. It. What it's, the, it's, it's the Eve of Ruin challenge. The J&J &J Eve of Ruin challenge. So, so I like Brennan Lee Mulligan, but I don't watch a lot of live, like actual plays. Maybe one of the seasons of, what is it? Uh, Dimen Dimension 20, right? Yeah. One of the seasons of Dimension 20, maybe. <laughs> Dementia 20, backwards. maybe for this guy. <laughs> Just for uh, Dementia 20. And yeah, it's a thing, you know, it is what it is. Oh, um, that being said, let's see if I can remember what happened last episode on Vecna, Eve of Ruin. So last episode, I'm not going to get bogged down in all of the details details of what we had done previously because hopefully you've watched that and if you haven't you've made a choice we just what i'll say is the last episode our adventurers they had been teleported after meeting ramon incarnacion in the fighting pits they were brought to a special place on sigil and there they met legendary 
casters in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. They were they were met <laughs> half naked, by the way, uh, by Morden Cannon. Why? Tasha. <laughs> Who was impressed by Vegas? Just saying. No, no, she no, no, she no, she was not. She she said she said I like this one. Um, <laughs> and who doesn't? Come on, come on, Vegas and Bonkus. Come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Lady Illustrial Silverhand. Uh, the information that they were given was that why did they get teleported there in the first place? Well. The three wizards, the wizards three, these legendary casters in the multiverse, they had gotten together because they found out that Vecna was trying to reshape the entire multiverse in his image. Vecna has done some nasty things in the past. He's not known for Girl Scout cookies, you know, he's, he's a pretty sketchy dude. Um... Uh, but destroying the entire multiverse and creating a new one where he is the ultimate being, that's another level for him, even for him. So Illustrial, she gathered up her two friends, Tasha and Morden Kennan, and the three of them casted a wish together. So this is not just your everyday ninth level wish spell. This is like more like a ritual that three of the greatest wizards in all of history have done together. And the result of that was a half-naked Milo, a half-naked Pigus, and a half-naked Aradel, and also half-dead Aradel. Just popping up. More than half. Right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only mostly dead. Um, and... <laughs> Which is still what, Jake? Slightly alive. Slightly alive. <laughs> he had one hit point. Um, so these three individuals show up um, in Illustrial's hideout on Sigil. And they say, oh no. This can't be the response to our wish spell. But they find out that the three of these individuals also had a connection to Vecna, the Whispered One. And Mordenkainen says, I have another plan. Forgive me, but I wasn't sure if this wish would work on an entity as powerful as Vecna. So I've researched into the Rod of Seven Pieces. And I think that if we use this Rod, we could come together, we could fight Vecna, and we could banish him to his home plane of O-Earth? Earth? I don't know, however that's supposed to be pronounced. Um, so, Milo, Aradel, and Biggis are given instructions. They are given help in the form of a rare magic item from Illustrial's cabinet. And they're given a portal into the Underdark so that they could find this first piece of the Rod of Seven Pieces. They go there, and Aradel, with his blind sight, is able to find a hidden door, and Milo, with his ability to comprehend uh, languages as a ritual, which, as we know, rituals are, you can dance if you want to, you can leave it. Um, <laughs> so, as <laughs> they enter this place, uh, Milo has a light spell up, and their presence is noted by this light. And if that wasn't enough, Aradel and Biggis approach two worshippers of Loth, the demon queen, demon goddess, who is this mixture of like an elf woman and a giant spider. Spider. And she's evil. So they find two worshippers of Loth. Um... And they end up fighting. And they end up winning. But it made some noise. And as Milo goes in to heal his wounded friend, two rusted doors swing open. And this massive demon 
with tiny, teeny tiny wings. <laughs> teeny <laughs> tiny wings. It's grotesque. It's like a, a a mockery of an ape and a boar standing twice the height of a human. Nobody's human there, but Aradel's right around the size of a human. So standing twice the height of Aradel gets right in their face. And as we enter that moment, um, that's exactly where we're going to pick up. Gentlemen, um, well, it was it was the creature's turn. Um, we'll keep initiative from last time. Uh, so Milo had just gone. Yeah. Um, it is this creature's turn. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's demonic. Well, that that that's not very nice. <laughs> Why? De not all demons are bad. Who do you know? I don't care creature... what anyone says. Yes, they are. <laughs> as they agreed, demons are bad. It's oh no! Not do I start a tangent. It's oh, not rocket science. <laughs> I do not give a pardon my French. I don't give a shit. Demons <laughs> are bad. That's why you say, even if you're not religious at all, you say, "I'm fighting my demons." You're, it's not, they're bad. You might be a bad guy. It's also, not it's also. Guy. Let me tell you this: it's oh, chaotic no. evil, which is significant. That being said, gentlemen, yes, this creature swings the door open. <laughs> it runs out, and with that, I need all three of you. Oh no to make a wisdom saving throw. Well, I'm really good at those. Is this either a spell or a fear effect? It is a fear effect. I have advantage on those because I'm a halfling. Wisdom, you say? Wisdom. Ooh, I rolled two 16s, so that's a 22 for Milo. Okay. Ve uh, <laughs> veil. Milo. <laughs> that's a different, yeah. <laughs> it's a 22. Wow. I have four. advantage on wisdom saves no! too. Four? Okay. Four. All right. Well, that's nice. So, uh, <laughs> Milo there. succeeds. He is not afraid. Aridel succeeds. He is not afraid. Bigus fails. Bigus, you are afraid. Apply the frightened condition to your character. Uh, and after this horror nimbus <laughs> emits this scintillating multicolored light <laughs> I don't even know what the word scintillating means to be completely honest it's gonna make three attacks first one is a bite attack on Biggis he's going he's bypassing Milo he's bypassing Milo for the first attack don't you worry we'll get to you <laughs> okay don't forget that is a disadvantage. Alrighty. Um, so, for your bite attack, 19. Does hit. It does hit. Oh, man. Alright, and I, uh, forgive me, that's actually a claw attack, not a bite attack. 11, and that is, uh, you're gonna take 16 points of slashing damage. Except... A tiny little flick of Milo's hand. Tiny. There is just oh, a my, yeah, just a little flick. <laughs> some of the energy that normally surrounds him when he's got some he does abjuration magic just kind of like just swings over in front of Biggis and absorbs all 16 points of damage. Ooh. All 16 points of damage. Wow. Thank Damn. you. Damn. All right. Wow. Well, then... <laughs> uh, it sounds like Mr. Biggis is, is okay, but still frightened. Uh, and with that, this creature <sighs> is going to bite Milo. Oh no, Milo, he's going to eat you. Milo That's will tank right now. To hit. Yeah, that hits. Right. <laughs> there's, there's no getting around that one. Uh, you know what's a little scary, even for me? I don't think I have enough D10s. Uh, yeah. 
That's, this is the best part. It's just the mumbling as he's adding it up in his head. <laughs> Did you carry the word? You will take 31 points of piercing damage. All right, well, I'll, the 11 right remaining points of my arcane ward <laughs> subtracts that to 20, but Ooh, ouch. Nice. Owie. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Arcane ward. What a time to be alive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And with its last attack, ah! it's still going for Milo. Yeah, because he's, he's a big mean man. <laughs> big mean demon man. Um, and with this one, it's a 15. A 15 would hit. However, I just will cast. Oh, no, I can't. I used my reaction. Oh, it womp, well, then I do have enough D6s. Could you use your reaction for Arcane World biggest and yourself? No, the I, I the reaction is just the projected word. Ah, uh, okay. I, I rolled all ones on my damage, so that's gonna be eight <laughs> slashing damage. What a wimpy, what I'm, a wimpy I'm not going I'm not going to uh complain about that, but my, yeah, no, I, I oh, understandable. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Everyone point and laugh uh, at his stupid little wings. How dare you? You're next. All right, uh, that will that will end its turn, which brings us to Bigus. Bigus is going to cast Fairy Fire mm. on it. I'm gonna put it back far enough so that way it doesn't hit Milo or Aradel, but just so it it. Good answer. It good answer. Good answer. <laughs> nice. It's Let's see Fairy Fire. No spoilers. That is, no spoilers. <laughs> that is a uh, Dex 17 save. I like this. You see the big, big beefy boy. All right. Well, it's a natural 19, so that I uh, think that well, saves. I'm sorry. Well, you're fine. And I'm actually going to take a step back. Okay. And my, what is my. what is the rules for the frightened condition? Like when it comes to. Do I have to use my action to try to get out of it? Do I roll every turn to not have it? Or is it just a set amount of time? Yeah, you can make a saving throw, wisdom saving throw at the end of your turn. All right, well, I am going to end my turn. Okay. Good choice. Come on, Vegas. Did you make a wisdom saving throw? That's a two. All right, that is a fail. Oh, no. That is a fear. Turns out we're finding out Biggest's biggest, biggest fear is is big, big, big beefy demons. <laughs> big beefy demons with tiny wings. It's the wings. wings. It's the wings. It's, 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 just, get them. it's the wings. It's, those wings are not proportionate to the demon's body. It doesn't make work. any sense. It can't work. <laughs> None of my research shows <laughs> no, that this he, should be possible. He's, he's really just worried that the creature's going to realize that that's where he got the wings for his boots. <laughs> from another one of it, from his kin. And he's not going to be very happy about it. Very, very nice. Very <laughs> nice. All right. That brings us to the top of initiative out of Aradel. Right. Well, I'm, I had my Hunter's Mark concentrated on during the last one, so I'll use my bonus action to cut, swap it over to this guy. Okay. And then I was going to mirror image, but I've decided against that. Um... Because I just like hitting things hard and old strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it pans out. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, that's uh, that's only a fifteen for the first one. Fifteen misses. That's a that is it. However, is a nineteen. That one, however, is a natural nineteen for my third one. Nice. And then for the fourth one, that's another fifteen. So we got one normal attack, one crit. Yep. The normal attack is weapon. Hunter's Mark, sword, okay? That's Open gonna be a whopping stick. 19 for the first attack. Get him. And then the critical strike attack is gonna deal. So how do you want me to do this? I'd normally double my dice. Do you want me to roll double the amount of dice instead? That's normally I... what we do. Okay, we'll do that. I'll do Although that. what you just said is personal. contrary to what you told me last time. But... Personal. It's That's a personal I decision, use... Lee, really? I double the amount rolled normally. I want to do it how you guys normally do it. So I double the amount I rolled on the... You're thinking way well, too hard about it, this. Whatever. I'm going to be like, I'm rolling twice the amount of dice. I'm rolling we, twice. Twice the dice, twice is nice. Do whatever makes you happy. So either double oh, what yeah. you roll or we broke roll twice. Lee. 
<laughs> we broke I them. Hate it. I hate that there's optional rules to this. It's dumb. Yeah, but um, you're using the official rule, but I think you think <laughs> it's the optional rule. <laughs> no, doubling the amount that I've rolled, the numbers, whatever. Um, Just go. Rolling <laughs> double go. the amount of dice <laughs> is the official rule. I know, and I'm doing the optional rule. Uh, no. <laughs> no, holy. <laughs> what? <laughs> we had this conversation. What do you think in the week? comment section? Let us know. <laughs> it doesn't matter it's, what you think. It's you a can touch it. I rolled a certain. I rolled three dice. Can I don't even know That's move, the optional one. Can we move right. on? Thank you. 22, 27. 27. Get it. Get it. That's what the optional roll. So, when you say the option rule, did you double the amount that you rolled, or did you roll twice? <laughs> I... I... I rolled 11, doubled that, and then that's what I did. Okay, so you did use the optional rule. Yes, I know! Yeah. <laughs> okay. You realize that in doing this damage, the demon does not seem phased at all. Like, no damage was taken? Not necessarily. I mean, like, it still looks like damage was taken, but it didn't do nearly what you thought it was going to do. Um, how much was lightning damage? How much was, um, it was regular? It's going to be um, one damn episodes. <laughs> damn, you know, I, I feel um, like I, I have not done it, anything wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me a magic weapon last episode! <laughs> I do not keep track of what type your of damage. Your gloves make your attacks doing. magical, period. End of that. Eight. All right. <laughs> uh, a, eleven of that was lightning, so half that to well, all. Okay, okay, yeah. Eleven. I, I did both of those attacks. Eleven over the both of those attacks was lightning damage. Okay. So half that to what? Five. Alrighty. This is what D and D's about, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Pissing off your friend named Jake. He has to keep hitting the pause recording button. We're on the sixth recording pause. Uh, <laughs> okay, all right. It's <laughs> Lee, does that complete your turn? I'm done. All right. That brings us back to my level. Oh my god. I have an interesting decision right now. And what I I do. How I'm interesting going, is it? Well, I'm considering either Misty stepping away or casting slow, because I can't do mm. both in the same turn. Very nice. But I'm going to go with the higher ceiling, and I'm going to cast slow on Ooh. this creature. So I need Boy. a was it wisdom saving throw, please. Wisdom saving throw. That's a 20. Like a, a natural 20, so. Ooh. That's what happens like when you go big or go home. home. <laughs> um, well... <laughs> How tall is the uh, cave or this How place? How tall is the cave? Yes. Oh, there you go. There he goes. Keep me on my toes. Uh, oh. Hold on a second. Let me tell you exactly what this. I don't think it necessarily um, matters. Not but... Keep me on my toes. That's that's a normal question. And DMs out there, like I could talk to Jake like this because we're very close friends. But you know, <laughs> um, otherwise, just read the book and it'll tell you that it's twenty feet high. That's a that it doesn't necessarily matter because as a halfling I can just move through spaces that yeah. with creatures that are larger than me. Yeah. But I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna move Milo into a flanking position mm. behind. Very nice. To be able to help Aradel out a little bit. Um, wow. But uh yes, I think that's I guess, uh, no, that's it. I'm I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. Everyone except for Vegas, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Nah. I is this another no fear effect? Me. This is another fear effect, Jacob. Oh, I'm quite frightened. Are you? Yeah. What'd you roll? I rolled a three. Yeah, you're with, frightened. With advantage, I rolled a three. Oof. I got an 18. Uh, 18 saves, yeah. So Milo. You guys, The really? smallest of the three with probably the least experience in a battle. But he's not frightened. Determined. No. Fills right. you with determination. Now, that being said, I'm brave. He's gonna try to bite Milo again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, here we are. All right, okay, uh, Jacob, that's a 16 to hit. I'm going to cast shield. So now my AC for the until I go again is 20. Ooh. 
Very nice. Okay, um, now. So yeah, I imagine this. he turns around and just Myla's wand just pops up and it's almost like a sword, like he's holding him off, but just Myla's wand. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> Very nice. Uh, he is going to try to make a claw attack on Aradel. That is a 16 to hit, which I, I think misses. 16 misses. And he's going to make another claw attack on Aradel. That one is a 14 to hit, so three attacks, all of them miss, and that brings us to Biggest. I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt. Ooh. Straight ahead. Yeah! <laughs> That's another 17 chick. What? No, I can't. Feel it. <laughs> Out of my plums. <laughs> nice bluish I, hue. I don't like that with the Discord message I just saw and hearing you say that. Oh, no. Take him to the farmer's market. <laughs> what, what, what? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, what, what's the TC? 17. 17? Well, uh, you'll be happy to know that uh, I failed. I got a 15. Yes. So. All right. Get it, biggest. Get it. Oh man, that's not a bad roll. Lightning bolt. Oh, uh, that is thirty-three <laughs> lightning damage. Yes. Yes. Thirty-three lightning damage. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. I mean, that's a nice hit. Um, it seems like it doesn't bother him as much as he'd expect it to, but it is a nice hit. Is that your turn? Uh, I mean, you you also yeah. uh, just remember at the end of your turn, you're going to redo that wisdom save. Correct. I am going to use my bonus action for Gusling to attack. Okay. Go for it, Gusling. Go for Gusling. We are a go for Gusling. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's a 23. 23 <laughs> hits. Get him, Gusling! <laughs> Gusling is a go. And that is seven force damage. Yes! Oh, it's seven go. we didn't have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, uh, look, I, I mean... I'm just, I'm just any, speaking it. Manifesting. Any hit points you take away from the creature, even if it's one hit point. I, I do deal. have a it question on that, though. Did it look like it had full effect on him? Uh, it was force damage, right? Yes. Man, Michael, I'm gonna tell you something that, that DMs don't want you to know. DMs don't want you to know this. Almost every creature in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition does not have resistance or immunity to force damage. I know almost, but almost <laughs> isn't all. <laughs> no, it, 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 it does not. Uh, so it, it, it looks like it, it does exactly what you would expect it to do. Um, and it pushed the creature back a little bit. Almost looks like it set him off balance a little bit. Mm. Don't, don't, don't look too far into that. All That's right. flavor. I'm looking and into it. And I am going to end my turn. Right. And that is a 18. That's good. An 18? Yes. Come on now. You are no longer frightened. Hurrah! Yes! <laughs> and you can no longer be frightened. Hurrah! By this creature. He's just, over the tiny little wings. He's like, hey, if he finds out that I that I made wings from his people, from my boots, <laughs> it is what it is. We're fighting anyway. We yep. got this. <laughs> I'm going to kick him so hard of these <laughs> winged boots right up his... Yes. Anyway, next yeah. person's turn. <laughs> I'm going to kick these winged boots right up his... Anyways. <laughs> right in the anyways. Uh, right. Aridel. It's your turn. Uh, and, uh, uh, actually, no, you don't. Aradel, it's your turn. Days I'm gonna do. I bet you'll never guess what my plan of attack here is. Oh, I bet you'll never guess. I'm gonna make four attacks here. Imagine. Gang. Wow, how'd you know what I was going to uh, do? This one is a miss. This one, however, is a 24. That's a hit. This one. A natural 20. Uh, that's a I hit. like that. This one. That is a, that is only a two. Uh, but this K. Okay, the first attack. You have a hit and a crit. He's seen 21 plus... 21 slashing, magical slashing, plus 5 lightning, half to 2 lightning. Okay. 
and then the critical attack is going to be less significantly less <laughs> impressive what? um 23 slashing and just two lightning that's already half all right it's a good round it's a good I round make my wisdom uh, save again actually i have a bonus action do i do anything with it i will second wind because there's nothing else for me to do with the bonus action right now second wind is good i will heal myself for a whopping 12 hit points well you know it's serious uh, when aridel gets russian he's russian yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, take your time take your time yeah. you don't have to go whoa, too whoa, fast wait, slow down there guy it's okay and then i will remake my wisdom saving throw that is a 12 plus not enough probably but uh 14. uh no wow, not wow. enough unfortunately for you you know what hold on a second i have something don't i i have indomitable yeah what does that do reroll i can re might as well do it might as well jump Don't that, look is, up. that is the same number of 14. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is still a fail. That is unfortunate. Uh, which brings us back to the monster. Monster. Um, and <laughs> why change what's been not working? First things first, it's going to bite Milo. No! You will try. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's not a good sign. That's a... I'm guessing that's a natural 20. <laughs> that's a natural 20. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to need a hand here. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Well, uh, Wait, I have inspiration. I can make, make you re-roll that, no? And that's I, luck. I think that's we decided luck. not. Yeah. Uh, luck, yeah. Unless I invoke a secret, which I think might be a good idea today, boys. Well, invoking a secret still just gives you advantage on... on you said I get a luck point. I can... An incoming attack roll can... I did say a luck point. Work yeah, on a luck yeah, point. That's it. That's what I said. Use it against me. That works. I'm going to say... Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. No, no. No. Boys, unless... I'm going to give you five... I'm going to do it unless five... Four... Three... I mean, you wear two, it. You do one. it. You have the secret. I'm invoking the secret of the... Fake lineage thing. Okay. All right. And I'm so the one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm protecting my lady. How does, gonna... Milo, how does Milo speak that secret to the wind? Lord Never Ember is not the legitimate ruler of Neverwinter. <laughs> as Milo speaks this, probably in his mind, but as he. He's... <laughs> okay. I, no, 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 no. I just wanted to know what it sounded like. And every time we do this, you're going to have to do this, whoever does it. Um, as Milo reveals this secret it escapes milo's mind and aradel's mind and biggest's mind you no longer remember that lord never emperor is not an actual uh, rightful ruler oh we don't remember that now and aradel has to be nice to indrina each of the three of you gets a luck point I choose to use that look point right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't have to nice to her. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, please reroll that crit, because even if it's a regular hit, that, that's a win for me. Uh, that's a dirty 20 now. And I can only shield 220, which should still be a hit, but that's that's fine. Okay. Hey, that that's significant. Yep, uh, that's, because that'll help. Instead of the D10 that I don't have amount of, uh, enough dice for, you know, Think of the so, amount of time you, Matthew, saved them from doing. <laughs> All right, you are going to take 25 piercing damage. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I understand how much my arcane ward would have gone up, but yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's just down to 23, but yeah. First claw attack on Aridel. No. Uh, 17 to hit. No. Second claw attack on Aridel. 19 to hit. No. 19 misses? It Dang. misses. Dude. All right. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, big, biggest buff me. I got the biggest buff. <laughs> <laughs> biggest in the buff. Got it. Yeah. It brings us to biggest, who is no longer afraid. I think you may have skipped me. Is that possible? Uh... 
Did I skip you? Oh man. I think I, I went right after Aradel where you should have went instead. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to go before or after him. You were supposed to go before. I'm sorry, okay. Jake. So um, I'll just go now. Yeah, and that's so fine. Go ahead. You go now. All that's right. my bad. It's fine. Um, it's this. <laughs> Milo. Milo is, he is bleeding right now. Like he's, he's, I, you guys haven't <laughs> seen Milo take damage and perhaps because of the size of this creature, you still can't see him. But he, he's like, oh. Ah. Milo's hand is coming out, boys. Milo's hand. And um, we gotta find we gotta find a spot to squeeze that. Uh, it's a big lad. Yeah, because I want biggest to be able to hit this creature. Can it? Can Milo's hand go right next to, like, right below Milo? Does that work? Is, uh, that, is that okay for you? It's just enough room. Yeah, especially okay. because you're on the in between anyway. Which is like probably not supposed to be a thing, but like why wouldn't we make it a thing? Okay. So yes, yeah, that's fine. All right, and um, he's gonna make an attack against this this uh, this mean mean creature. A clenched fist. Or a clenched fist. Yeah. No, or he's as just... I like to call it a pouch. A pouch. Yeah. A pouch. Fourteen plus eleven. <laughs> 20, Twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He would probably pouch them. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, 22 force damage. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Want to make sure I keep giving Aradel advantage. Uh, so. Just, slap. Biggest. Milo yeah. said, the slapping time she comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't. So I that don't was... mind... You do you. I mean, it's either, it's either that or provoke an attack of opportunity, which I don't. Don't say it. Don't say it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not giving it for, to him for free, so. I'll just grapple him this turn. It'll work out great for me. Yeah, you'll, you'll do great. Yeah. <laughs> Milo's going to end his turn. Okay. That brings us to biggest. Oh, I'm going to drink a potion. Okay. All right. Biggest is running up. And do I have advantage? Uh, advantage will rule. Why did I say rules? Advantage rules are a little weird, but I'm going to say yes, you have advantage. Um, okay. I know Milo's hand is an object, and that's what we're going to go with, but Milo's hand and Milo being on the opposite side, let's just go with it. I feel like with large creatures, it's always a little bit weirder. Yeah. But. All right. What? I am going to use my bonus action to cast a level two chromatic charge. Okay. And then I am going to attack with Bonkus with Great Weapon Master active. Okay. For my first attack. That's a 17 hit. A 17 does not hit. Now, is it too late since I found out that it didn't hit to you use my inspiration? No, my inspiration. Uh, I don't, I don't. Uh, I think inspiration just gives you advantage. It. I thought I inspiration let you roll another dice, it but I could. Does, but I think you have to. I I want to say the rule is that you it. it before you find out whether it's a hit or not. You have a luck point too. There's, there's always that. Um, hold on, hold on, literally, hold on literally three seconds because I'm, I'm pulling up the rule for inspiration. You pull up my... If you have inspiration, you can expend it when you make an attack roll, saving throw, or ability check. Spending your infra inspiration gives you advantage on that roll. Doesn't say one way or the other. I would assume that it's before you know whether it hits or misses. Does that seem fair? We got two dungeon masters on here. Fair or unfair? And normally it specifies if it you can do it after a decision is or a roll. I think that's how it will be, but I don't think that is currently how it is. So, Lee, are we going by new rules or old rules? It's just yeah, because like old rules, no new rules, yes. Everybody roll any <laughs> die they want to die they want to roll i'm rolling a d12 baby let's go I'm rolling a d4 i feel good about it i never roll my, a d12 my d12s never get used so. exactly 
That's a 12, me. baby. A D12. I got a 12. She got a one. Well, uh, odd Is was old uh, new rules. Even was old rules. I think we got a nine and a one, right? Yeah. Which means Biggest can use his inspiration. There back. you go. <laughs> All right. All that's right. how inspiration be. This Come is the on, Biggest. Episode, everybody. And, and that's, that's what and... we can do moving forward. Just FYI. Keep me honest. You got worse. Uh, you got uh, lower. No. 23 to hit. Yes. <laughs> there we go. This mm. is why rules lawyering is only for cool kids, folks. Just don't be a jerk. <laughs> um, for the chromatic charge, it is going to be acid damage. Don't know if it makes a difference, but acid damage. I like that decision. I like love that for you. <laughs> Honestly, it's a very strong choice. Let me just tell you this before you roll. Um, you don't need to specify what the damage type is. You oh, that type of damage. You have just chosen tell me, wisely. Tell, tell me the whole number. Okay. Assuming uh, Vegas is a magic weapon, which I think yes. Yeah. I mean, it's Bonkus. Oh God! Come on, what Bonk, a fool that I is am. thirty-three right. damage. It's got some dude's name carved into it. It has to be magical, right? We've got Delvin. 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 He's nuts. He's Dungeon <laughs> Delvin. Hey. All right. <laughs> Didn't work out, bro. And for my second attack. Oh boy, he's got two of these. No. That Get is it. a 21 to hit. Yes! That's a hit. Oh, God, a he. Yes! <laughs> and that one is 23 damage. Okay. It is a good amount of damage. Your boys, your boys are doing work. Yeah, and... you guys are putting in work, absolutely. That will end my turn. Okay, that okay, brings dog. us to Aradel. Can I go to the other side of my f this guy over right here, right next to Milo? Uh, Is that possible to do? You would have to move through his space. Yeah, if I were a halfling, I could. Okay, sorry, Milo. Have fun over there. Thanks for the advantage, friend. I'm going to make my four attacks now. Make the most out of it. I'm going to do my... That is a, not enough to hit with a... 16. That one is a 22. Yes. 22 hits. That one is a 26. Yes. 26 hits. That one is a natural 20. Jeez. Yes. You roll more crits than anyone else, but you to be fair, roll more times than anyone else. Most of my crits are 19. To be it's fair. It's got to live up to the name. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah. No, that's, that's the whole point of playing a, 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 a champion. But I'm just saying, it's working. Editing, um, this will be fun. I refuse. <laughs> All right, so the first hit is going to deal 14 slashing damage and two lightning damage. I've already half that. The second attack is going to deal 11 slashing and three lightning. I already have. Aridel. Yeah. Let me get my crit. Hold on. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I roll. That's what I was going to ask. I was going to say Aridel. Okay, good. What was your crit? It is pretty damn good. Uh, 26 slashing damage and five lightning half. Oh my gosh. 26 slashing damage with how much lightning damage? Five lightning. That's already half. Wow. That um, was exactly what you needed. Wow. <laughs> um, except for the fact that you finished this creature on your last attack oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, exact math so Aradel, as you attack this now fish oh you know what hold on one second let me let me hear how either matt mercer or um the other person pronounces this as you attack this now fish and finish it off <laughs> what does it look like uh i'm still scared at this moment Oh, you are. You, you yeah. rolled the disadvantage and still got a crit. Well, I had a regular nice. roll because of Milo. He had hell. Oh, yeah, 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 I was yeah, still yeah, scared. Right, right. So I think I'm just wildly swinging. I'm just like, <sighs> like, like screaming, like, 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 you yeah. know, 
really aggressive, loud, like screaming, just like really into it. But it's definitely the screaming isn't from him being really into it. It's him like screaming, like this is freaking crazy. You're screaming like somebody said. Somehow, <laughs> I still love you. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my voice can get that low, but yeah, like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you you kill this thing, um, and as this demonic monster drops to the ground dead, we'll take our first quick break because I have to pee. Here at J&J Tabletop, we're trying to help you get the most out of your games by helping you unlock what works best for you at your table. Whether you're a player or dungeon master, or even play other systems, we'll help you take your experiences to the next level. Subscribe today and get even more out of your games. Our very own Lee, who plays Aradel Brightmaw, also created our intro video, Scaled Mount Kilimanjaro, and is as Irish as they come. He also has his YouTube channel dedicated entirely to making D&D fun again. Highly imitated, never duplicated. You will laugh, learn, and enjoy his content. So head to youtube.com slash at this crits and subscribe today. Our character art was created by Kaya from fablewoodgoods.com. Fablewood Goods is an immersive fantasy business for authors, books, and brands. Explore the Fablewoods' unique lore through seasonal shop updates filled with enchanted forests, dragons, and fae, or bring the magic to life with custom merch and illustration for your own worlds and whimsies. Our graphic overlays were created by our very own Jake at ttrpgoverlay.com. ttrpgoverlay.com is the premier resource for quality D&D and TTRPG actual play graphic overlays. Our overlay packs, like this one, The Lich King, are designed to be simple and enhance your content, which in our opinion is you. Stop by today and check out what we've got, including some free examples. Remember, you and your content are special. Our products help everyone see that. We appreciate every kind of support that J&J Tabletop gets. Watching and sharing our videos will always be the primary way you can do that. However, if you enjoy our content, please consider joining our channel as a member. It's a direct way to let us know you believe in what we are doing, and it helps us improve our content. We will be adding to the list of perks we offer as we get ideas, so check back regularly to see what's new. Don't forget to <laughs> smash that like button. Gentlemen, you just defeated the demon. As you look around, you don't think there's any creatures or any enemies in the immediate vicinity. What do you do? Uh, you have a moment of calm. Milo actually drops drops his wand. It still has light on it, but it's on the ground, and he just kind of collapses onto the floor. Just oh, huh. and you guys definitely see like there's there's, there's puncture holes in his uh, his blazer. There's blood all over the place. He he looks like he's he's okay, but like he's just like okay. Are you guys okay? Yeah, you're all right. Ooh, yeah. I'm all right. Yeah, oh. uh, I will walk up to Milo and like kind of uh, kneel down to his height and be like, Milo, just think about this. I know it's kind of rough right now, but think about this. It could be so much worse. You could be covered in oil. You have to admit, he looks good though. <laughs> <laughs> And, and he just kind of like, there's a moment, I think, where he's he's like looking at you very seriously. Does Arida laugh when Milo says that? Yeah, yeah. Arida breaks. Yeah, yeah. And then Milo kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he's like, he's very delayed in the response, yeah. but he's there with you. Yeah, yep, yep. And yep. As, he, as he smiles, you see like blood in his teeth, like wine teeth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, oh, mm, mm. Here, I got I got some extra teeth from the teeth of Vecna Holder. You might need some of these. Oh, oh God. Um, <laughs> gotta give an echo. Oh, gods. <laughs> um, well done. How's, how's everybody doing on health wise? I'm about 50%. I'm fine. I'm just over 50%. All right. 
I do have a potion. Uh, I think we all have some potions. I burned a greater there. Yeah. Um, do we want to consider a short rest? I'm not against it. It's not like we're at a time crunch right now. I think we're okay. Mm. But we are in a kind of hostile area, so if we do, it'd probably be prudent to... I could set, the, set up the hut. Set I up the hut. I did for our last one. Mm. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah, probably on the edge of this altar in case anyone else walks by somewhere like here so they don't walk into it by accident, maybe. Yeah, I think it's a 10-foot radius zone. Yeah. Hey. Oh, you got it. Okay, good. Or someone does. I got something. That's a 10-foot diameter. What do you need? 10-foot radius. I got it. What is it, 10-foot radius? There's a 20-foot diameter. Yeah, I mean, I could. we could do something like this. Yeah, that's fine. Just because if people walk into it like here, they'll be like, wait, there's a magical wall right here. I can't get to my prayer place. What's going on? Or we could just maybe... Oops, sorry. Oh, Whoever uh -oh. did that. Sorry. Otto's irresistible dance has broken my map. I, I mean, we it. could also just step out here, up top, and just... This is true. Gosh, dang. Well, actually, 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 irresistible dance just ruined everything. It really did. <laughs> I, can't, I can't open it anymore. Oh, no. Does Josh it'll, have it'll, it, though, or Jake? It, it literally just crashed my D&D Beyond. All right, there we go. I actually don't know what just happened. I just, I think, no, I'm going to move this over here, I think. And we could, we could step we'll right. We'll go into the room with the secret door that no one saw was a door. Yeah, go into the room with the secret door. Yeah, this, this yeah, is where it will be up here. The room. The room. Room. I love how you say room and yeah. it's like roof. A room? Room. It's like roof. It's like what you use in a mixed drink. Room. Short so rest? Yeah, yes. It's going to take 11 minutes just to make the dome, but then we'll take a short rest if that's all right. With, uh, or that's our intention, right? 11 minutes? Most people only last two minutes. Bro. Whoa. Three sixes and a five on my hit die. Let's go. And I'll take my I'm full recovery. With two short rests bonus or hit dice. I'm okay. gonna take my level, both of my three level three slots back. Yeah. Oh wait, actually, did my arcane recovery feature improve? Is it there? And so I will also take back a level one slot. Ooh. Ah, no way. Very nice. Impressive. But you are not a Jedi yet. Uh. Okay. All right. Yeah. You you take your rest, and it seems to go well. Nothing bad happens. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. All right. So if I remember correctly, up top, Milo was up here when the shenanigans happened. There was a gem. Nope. I want a pink. There was like a gem up here. Yep. And if I remember correctly, he heard voices over here, but never had a chance to report it. Yep. That's true. Okay. So Milo will report it. <laughs> he lets you guys know he heard voices coming from behind that that doorway, and there was a gem. So, there was a what, gem. Yeah, he was getting ready to like I think do a detect magic ritual, which I guess we could get started. Yeah. With the with the short rest. Yeah. Milo, we saw two gems over there. Looked like rubies underneath two dead bodies. Not necessarily underneath the bodies, but there's Ooh. bodies over there, and there are two rubies near the bodies. So yeah, <laughs> with the tech magic up, he's gonna just fly over there and. Okay, what's so up? you're gonna cast detect magic. As a ritual, yes. Which takes ten minutes. It's all night if you want to. What does everybody yeah, else yeah, do in the in the ten minutes that I, I was doing that? I'd probably perch at one of the doors if he's doing his dance. I'd probably perch at this door. Just at that point, sure. the dome would still be there, and Kate, but my, Milo would yeah. be in the dome. But you could do whatever you guys want to do. Does the dome like hide us it, from view? Um, does it does it it's mask opaque. sound or anything like that, or or is it just uh, safe safe area? I think it also does mask sound. Biggest would just be perched around this door. Actually, doesn't say. 
I think it just makes you like vis invisible from sight. Like they, it looks like normal. I don't think it blocks sound. No, it's opaque. So like you can't. It's it look. You see a dome. Oh, you I can change, see a dome. Okay. I can change the color of it. Uh, all other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it, except for the people I designate. Leomans? Yeah, I guess that's a judgment call, but it doesn't say it blocks sound. So. Yeah, you, you do your thing. It, so yeah, I mean, I would just be heading up there to take a look at that gem, the door, just to see if there's any magic going on. Okay. Let's see. Um, it's within 30 feet. Mm, you know, you know what they should do, Jacob? What's that? Maybe this will be another short. <laughs> if there's a trap, which has a magical outcome, such as, I don't give know, you, maybe give you, give you this two fake Ruben, uh, Rubens, two fake rubies that deal lightning damage, they should freaking tell you that if your players do detect magic, it's going to show up. And what type of magic i'm gonna say you sense evocation evocation coming yeah. from those rubies and it feels sparky okay <laughs> milo then just says i would not touch those rubies i think i think it'll zap us with lightning you zap is there anything on the door or the bodies oh there's all search of magic coming from the other side of that door but not really? the door itself. Just not the on door the itself. Break. Yeah, just the other side. I sent something. A presence I have not felt since. He just trails off. Hmm. Did you have to ca recast light? I think it lasts for an hour, but it's it's not concentration or anything. But I would have I would I would assume light is going is up unless otherwise specified. Okay. Here's here's my next. I'm gonna do this. I'll come up right next to this door. Okay. And then I'll say to my DM, is there anyone on the opposite side of that door within 10 feet? Not that you can sense. Okay. Good question. Is there a clear way to open the door? Sure. Like like handles or something? Or... Yeah, there's handles on it. I don't well. sense any magic, but I, I, I've yet to try and find any traps that might be there physically. I will look for traps that might be there physically. <laughs> I will help you. <laughs> okay. Roll investigation. Investigate. Oh, I'm really not good at that. Maybe you should do it. Uh, I know something. You want me to? Yeah, well, I'll help you. <laughs> Vegas is sitting there with the best investigation of the group. Uh, I mean, I, <laughs> Vegas is just investigating maybe, it on his own. Maybe all three <laughs> help and my and Michael just rolls an advantage. Zero. Everybody roll their own, their own okay. investigation. Baloney. This is a 23. That's an 18. That's a 14. Um, as you look at the door, it seems fine. Doesn't look like there's any sort of trap on there. Right. Perhaps if you rolled the 25. No, I'm just kidding. So, uh, I mean, do you want to get behind cover for the door if you think something's dangerous there and I'll open it? I was more concerned about the gems, but I will keep a little distance. Just has his okay. wand out on his You're broom. right. You good where you're at, Biggis? Let's do it. And I will slowly and stealthily open the door. How much, uh, how much range do you have with the glasses on? Uh, do I Six, still have the glasses on? 60 feet. Yeah, that's why I have the light. Got it. Okay, 60. Oh. Grottenelli. See you, uh... The yeah, Italian yeah. drow servant. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pup. You open the door. And as you open the door, you see... Creature. And this creature looks like a, a Swerf Neblin. Or if you're my very good friend Matt, a Snurf Nebly. Snurf Nebly, I think, is, is actually. Yeah, I love um, Matt. <laughs> um, and this creature. Deep Dome. Is doing a similar dance that you've seen before. He's going. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends. Uh, so he's casting detect the magic. No, he's just he's just casting some sort of ritual. 
Oh. <laughs> would Milo be able to identify it? I would say probably not. Okay. It's also like there is light going into the room. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say that he's gonna. There's light around Milo. Twenty yeah. foot bright, twenty foot beyond that dim. Oh no, it's 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 in there. He sees so, it. Yeah. So I I do have a a quick general knowledge question here. Sure. Is there any reason to think that anything that we could run into here could be good? Um, with everything you know about the Underdark in general, like the Underdark in general is not a safe place. Very dangerous. Everything is hostile. Even the, um, even the, the factions that live down here that are like intelligent and not just like monsters, like hook horrors who are out to get you. Um, most of them, I won't say all of them, but the overwhelming majority of them are evil as F A F. They are evil. Um, now, Loth specifically, Loth is the demon goddess. Um, and she is like known for being one of the most cruel beings out there. Okay. This is a hideout for followers of Loth. So, so what you're telling me is there's a chance. But what you're saying, <laughs> no, 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 what, what you're I'm telling, telling you me is... is that there's always a possibility that something is here that doesn't belong. Nah. But from what you know, anything that's here that belongs here is is evil. He's just a cute little snurfibbly. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, me a snurf a snurfibbly. Yeah. So, Vegas <laughs> looks at Milo and Aradel goes like this and runs in and is going to uh he's gonna take us he's gonna take a swing at this big guy or whatever this guy is get him get him vegas <laughs> okay. question, question before you roll for attack can you what is this on the floor a, that looks like a pentagram is it, it looks like a pentagram, pentagram yeah just a pentagram there's no details about it just the uh, star uh, thingy well, the star yeah. pentagram is a star shape often yeah. uh, associated with a circle around it an enormous with pentagram drawn down. in chalk with stubby unlit candles placed at its five points covers the floor of this open chamber a hooded snurf nebly creature punches <laughs> over <laughs> A cluttered table in the southwest corner, mumbling profane phrases. That's not what he's doing. He is dancing. Profane? He's singing. Yeah. Oh, I don't like profanity. Yeah, he's like, you my, can my freaking that's, dance that's if not you good. freaking want to. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no that's, freaking that's not good manners. Him. That's that's poor manners. <laughs> he's singing Gosh, Shakira. Can't dance and that's think what it dance. is. They ain't no mother freaking friends of mine. Oh, baby, if you're lost, don't lie, I'm about to... <laughs> Get him, Vegas. Get him. Get him. Oh boy. Take it easy. Take it easy. It's like, you golf club his head off. Uh, everyone. <laughs> Not a snurf. As, as Big Gus runs in to make an attack, I would like everyone here to roll initiative. Oh my god. That's a five. I got a six. <laughs> you still beat me. Golden flywheel does add, add to the ability check. I like that. Definitely does. I got a 14. The difference is, though, I rolled with advantage. <laughs> yeah, no, statistically, you, you, you had a How worse you result. Roll? I rolled a one and a four. <laughs> or one and a, yeah, one and a four. <laughs> <laughs> my my rolls tonight have been resetting from the first like two yeah, or three. It's yeah, not been great. Oh, <laughs> you used it all up. <laughs> he will bring balance to the force. <laughs> you were supposed to be the chosen one. Not leave it in <laughs> darkness. Biggest, what you notice as you run in is that there's this creature, 43 people. <laughs> this, this Papa Snurf. Papa Snurf is gonna is gonna do something. Oh first. no. Creature seems to realize that you're running in, but it continues what it's doing. That's it continues its dance. That's that's song. I don't think that's good either. <laughs> because 
initiative's sake and you guys weren't sneaking or anything and didn't necessarily have surprise. I was trying to sneak, but biggest runs in. <laughs> well, so his we were off. sneaking up to that point. At least I would think that we we were because you did guys, say the you light really the just ruins it. It's it is light, what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but but uh, that being said, because of the order of operations, I'm gonna let Biggest take his action, and then we'll roll to the top of initiative, which will be Aradel. So that makes sense to me, and if it doesn't make sense to you, then I apologize, but that's what we're gonna do. It's um, not accepted. So Biggest, uh, you can take your action, and as you're running in and attacking- With Great Weapon Master. With Great Weapon Master. This is a 15 to hit. Up 15, 15 hits. And yeah, roll, uh, yeah, I guess roll, roll your attack. That is 24 bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right. And then my second attack. And before you roll that second attack, I just want you uh, to know new information. Oh. There's seven others in Earthly, please. You did that didn't anything. look good. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> he didn't Does see anything. Please hold. <laughs> 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 Summoned. Oh. The, uh, there's this massive creature with these, like, almost looks like claws that you would see on a, uh, Claws that you would see on, on like a, a crab, honestly. Cram. Um, <laughs> uh, but it is another just demonic looking fiend with these spiked nails and these claws and this this uh, nasty looking beak for a mouth uh, that just kind of pops up in that space uh, and continue with your second action. I'm gonna try to hit him again. Okay, yeah, roll. Um, that is a 23 to hit. 23 hits. That's with Great Weapon Master, I assume? Yes. And that one is 23 bludgeoning damage. Michael. I like that. How would you like to kill Bratinelli? <laughs> um... I would say like the first hit just kind of like hits him in the shoulder and I see that he's still like speaking and then see the thing like just like appear and so I just hit him in the face and I mean just like takes his head clean off of his body. Oh yeah, <laughs> there you go. Nice. Andy. And Andy. Hey, did you hear and that? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was literally like... <laughs> <laughs> and since I happened to kill someone on my turn, I am going to take my bonus action. Yeah, is that later? Actually, yeah, I didn't think about that. Uh, yeah, that is going to be later. Yeah. But you'll still get it. You, you will can. still get it. I prefer yeah. my Don Donnelli El Dante. Aradel. Yeah. As you, as you chance. Honestly, I just want to leave him to his own devices. He's the guy who runs in screaming at off. I mean, first off, I didn't scream. Second, what else were we gonna do? Not attack? <laughs> He's got a point. Um, but yeah, I mean, Aradel, from your perspective, where you're standing, he the action in, first. He hit yep. this creature twice, knocked its freaking head off. Its freaking head off. Our Italian Snurf Nebley's heads are falling off. What do you oh, want to no. do? <laughs> Get the f out of here. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. It's so um, funny because we say that all the time and nobody, I would assume nobody knows uh, why we say that all the time. Uh, that is 25 feet of movement. And then I'll go right there to make it easier for biggest. And then I'll just go, go crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go crazy. Crazy. That's a, that's a, there's a 26 for number one. 26 hits. That is only gonna be a 12 for number two. That's a 22 for number three. And that's a 19 for number four. Yeah, uh, three hits. That is 
Nine, Nine, sl- Good. Nine slashing and five lightning. Okay. Second attack is 11 slashing and five lightning. And the third attack is going to be 12 slashing and four light. And then that's all I can do. I don't have a bonus. We're done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good turn. Darn. Anything else that you'd like to do as you kind of run in and this creature just spawns into existence and you just smack it and slash it? And... Nope. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, well, um, now it's officially Pegasus' turn. You have a bonus action, a movement, and a reaction. For the rest of your movement, rather. Um, great yeah, weapon. I, 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 don't, I don't have any more movement. <laughs> okay. Um, so for my bonus action, I am going to use my great weapon master attack. Okay. And which lovely die do I want to use? Not that one. With Great Weapon Master, that is a 16 to hit. A 16 to hit? That misses. Oh, do not that one. Unfortunately. Well, you said it after I rolled it. I mean, come on. I guess I had four. <laughs> um, Gustling is going to move right here. And that ends my turn. It's- okay. Um, well then, that brings us to Milo. Yeah, yeah, Milo isn't exactly sure what's going on, but quickly can tell there's some combat. Yeah, he's you gonna, could hear, fl- you could hear fighting. He's gonna fly over to here, and then he's going to shoot him with a ray of frost. Ray of frost. Wow. And that would be a 13 to hit. A 13 to hit misses. Mm. So that happened, and his turn is now done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the summoned creature goes, and seeing that biggest, just, it, you know, this creature was just brought into this realm by someone, and immediately after it was brought into this realm, biggest ripped that creature's head off. Um, it's going to use part of its action, or... or uh, I shouldn't say part of its action. Part of its multi-attack. Mm. To create, uh, 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 to use power word stun. Oh. Biggest. <laughs> <laughs> um, counterspell. Counterspell. Uh, okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's uh, a. I'm going to use level? the. Uh, I'm going to use the one in my ring. So it's it's a plus. Uh, just at level three. So I have to roll. Thanks to the golden fly rule. I get to re-roll those? <laughs> no, well, no, I just get to add 10 instead of 5. So that's a 17. 17? Mm-hmm. That yeah. would kill a level 7 spell. Yeah, you... I uh, would kill a level 7 spell? Yes. Um, what if it was a level 8 spell? I failed. Okay. It is quite simple. It is an 8th level spell. I have failed your biggest. I apologize. It was a very good... <laughs> very good use of the counter spell, um, regardless of whether it worked or not. Uh, biggest, you... It, do you have less than 150 hit points? I have 300 hit points. <laughs> yes, I, I have less than 150 hit points. All right. uh, For a second, Michael's like... <laughs> Damn it, artificers! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well then, biggest is stunned. Uh, I'm gonna send the rules for stunned right now. Um, you, you're, I mean, you're essentially you're incapacitated, um, and attack rolls against you have advantage. With the rest of this creature's multi-attack. Nope. Huh? Nope. What? Nope. What? What? Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna roll the attack now. Uh, with the rest of the creatures multi-attack, it's going to make two pincer attacks on you. The first one is a 14. Nope. And uh, actually, that's not that's not true. Oh. That's not true. 
Well, oh, you don't it, it is damage. With, it would, it's it a would straight be, roll. Yeah, it's right? a straight roll. All right, so that's roll. a 14. Okay. Uh, second, Why is it with disadvantage? Second one, I just straight up dropped cloak. on the floor. So let me try that one more time. The oh, cloak, the, the cloak gives disadvantage, but he has God. advantage. So it's yeah, so it's just a regular roll, uh, which was a 14, which I believe misses. You're, you're misses. what, an 18 or a 19 now? Eight, 18. Graham. Second one is a 15. Oof. So Miguel is stunned. It tries to attack you twice. It misses both times. Um, and that brings us back to the top of initiative with Ariel. Oh, I'm just sitting there like this, but still bobbing and weaving. <laughs> <laughs> it says finish him. Put the, put the controller's battery right out. All right. <laughs> I bet you'll never guess what I'm about to do. That's a 26. Of course it is. That's a 25. Of course it is. No, 23, rather. That's another 26. All right. That's a 22. All four hit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to do some damage. Just hold on. Let's see what we got. Okay. That's gonna be uh, thirteen slashing and one lightning for number one. Number two, it's gonna be sixteen slashing and two lightning. Number three, it's gonna be thirteen slashing and one lightning. And number four, it's gonna be twelve slashing and five lightning. It's like people don't realize like. It's not necessarily about the amount of damage you deal in one hit. I mean, the amount of damage you deal in one hit is significant, but if you do four attacks, you have four opportunities to deal damage. Even if you're not dealing like 60 points of damage a hit, like a rogue might do, you still deal like a crap ton of damage. Now, how yeah. does he look? Beat up. Like beat up enough to be bloodied? Um, you know, like parts of the the outer shell are like snapped off. Crab. Some of the uh, some of the spikes on the side of him are broken and bloody. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. That's my turn. Uh, biggest is incapacitated, um, which means you can't take actions or reactions. Uh. He could bonus action Gusling. I don't need to bonus action Gusling. If I am incapacitated, Gusling just gets to do whatever he wants. Hey, <laughs> nice. I like, like that. Like it, yeah, like I don't like normally I have to use a bonus action, but I'm incapacitated, yeah. then I can just use him like normal. Cool. Um so I will attack with Gusling. Okay. Yeah, Gusling. That is a dirty twenty. Dirty That's twenty right. hits. Gusling. <laughs> And it's five points of force damage. All right. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Um. He still gets a bonus action, though. Isn't that weird? I'm incapacitated. What What's the incapacitated condition? Can't take no actions, actions or reactions. Do anything, pretty much. Well, then I guess I probably would have to use my bonus action then for Gusling then. Yeah. If it's but, date. Incapacitation. Anyways, I don't know if you had anything useful to do with your bonus action or not. I just thought that was interesting. That's so strange that you can take bonus act. It's clearly a mistake, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, that yes, that will end my turn. Um, <laughs> Indy is just like literally sitting at the edge of the edge of the bed, like the bed, like this. <laughs> like staring at me. Um, uh, Michael, roll a con save. That is a 19. You are no longer incapacitated. Not gonna lie, I was worried with being an 8 level spell and who knows what this creature's things are. I was like, will that be enough? <laughs> it was enough. <laughs> Just sent you a picture of what Indy's doing right That's now. That's great. <laughs> 
was very interested to find out what happened. Hey, 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 hey. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, you paid attention to me, so... Uh, Alright, uh, Milo, your move. Okie dokie. Uh, I think the move for Milo here uh, is to cast uh, Ray of Frost. Ray of Ray Frost. Of Gotta say it like that. All right, nine plus 11 is a Get dirty 20. Cram. Dirty 20 hits. All right. That's 16 cold damage. Cram. Yeah. And um, how is our biggest? I don't think anyone's taking damage. You just got stunned. Okay. Correct. Um, um, I haven't taken a single hit. Okay. And why then, would you say that? Why would you put that into the universe? <laughs> because if he did, I would cast Healing Word on him. Uh, I'm going to fly up here, actually, and just see what I can see. Maybe come up a little bit to see down both, both always. Maybe it's a big mistake, but this is where we're yeah. going, boys. Yeah. As Let's shed that. more light on yeah. the situation. I want to see what's we? going on, everybody. As Nothing bad. Oh, are you that. fool! You're <laughs> such a fool! You <laughs> uh, uh, Why? You That's... see that there are at least three, maybe four. Who knows what else is in that past oh, the corner? I, I mean, to um, be fair, why they haven't joined the fight is a little strange to me, but creepy. it's okay. Because it's only been one round. It's been six seconds. Um, who <laughs> I see you? I and love making look, Lee happy. And they look as if they are already looking in your direction and ready to start moving that way. All right, I have 50 feet of movement, so I imagine it goes 10, 50, 20, 25, 30. <laughs> I, I imagine Milo just goes up like this, like this, and it goes, ah, one, two, three, four. <laughs> just, just, like he just flies up and be like, oh. Beans. Because I, there's more of them. <laughs> he I, turns around. I'm pretty sure I just like woke up half my house by screaming, "You fools! Why, <laughs> <laughs> <Hi>, fools?" <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, oh. that's my luster. <laughs> I don't know. Well, let me just confirm that. I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. <laughs> you fools! Could miss the step, but I'll leave Biggest in a bad spot. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> We're good. God, that's so funny. That brings us to some other creatures. Really, what I did was give you guys intel. You know, I mean, I okay, okay. Dude, just I'm I... just saying. Like what I did actually was get you some intel. Oh. Because Milo is an intelligence-based character this really quick and you know what i might as well do you know what i might as well do i might as well just pop this open to gargantuan size and open up this full area because that's what's happening right first things first we have one maybe four five six this creature is going to that of course is a cone of cold. This might be a little bit more than 60 feet, but oh. okay, it's 59 actually. <laughs> um, hey. yep. What did they look like? Do they all look like magic users? <laughs> Some of them look like magic users. Some of them have hey, weapons. Yeah. I'm gonna try a counter spell. Okay. Yeah. Um, and. You counterspell it, and your counterspell... What's the range of counterspell? 60 feet. But I think you also need line of sight. Okay, so if someone wants to cast counterspell on you, a Well, that's... Yeah, okay. One reaction which you take when you see a creature within 60 feet of you casting a spell. That's the trigger. They're, they all have the same turn. Is that is that a big cheese for me to... Uh, to move that one so that I can see you for counter spell. Do we feel do we feel I sketchy about fair. that? I think it's fair. <laughs> uh, you can do whatever you'd like. That's fine. So okay. the counter is being countered. The counter is being countered. 
Well, I tried. Hold that con save, baby. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it, yeah. Is Gustling protected from this based on the wall? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, just yeah. my own Gustling's got cover, I'd say. So yeah, everybody roll a Constitution save. Oh, not everybody. Biggest and Milo roll a con save. I got a seventeen. We took that short rest when we I did. actually got a seventeen as well. All right, both of you save. <laughs> They're good. Yep. However. Okay. Oh, this could have gone very differently. 35, that's 39. All right, so that's 39 damage, cold damage. That is going to be reduced to half. So 19. Uh, yeah. And I am going to cast Absorb Elements. All righty. <laughs> so how much was it, 19? Yeah. Maybe nine. Let's see what that would look like. I'm sorry. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Immediately following that... I don't like this. I don't I like this. Milo, Gustling, and Biggest to roll a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. I think I know what this is. 14. Nice. Um, I am using... You used your reaction. Oh, you're right. That is a 12. Using cry. All right. <laughs> I'll be using cry. Uh, hey. Wetness <laughs> begins uh, to emerge from my eyes. <laughs> a twelve fails. Um, Jacob, yeah. if you if you meet the DC, you That's, save. Correct. That is the if, yeah. If meet fourteen was a DC, I got it. And a fourteen saves. Ooh, okay. Twelve okay. fails. Okay. Um, and let's roll some damage as a fireball cracks right in front of you. Definitely reduced from the tears in your eyes. Right? It's, it's definitely. You know, it, it cools down the flame, at least on your face. 17. <laughs> I will say, biggest, remember, you have a luck point still, as do I. That's true. That's, a, that's uncanny. That's another 39 points Oof. of fire damage, uh, which for, for Milo is reduced to half. 19. Oof. And, uh... Does Gusling make his own save? I don't know if Gusling. Oh, uh, he does. Hold on a second. He didn't. He didn't roll. He said it's it a was... four, fourteen. Is the dex? DC. That's a twenty-one. Okay, so Gusling saves. So nineteen. Gusling is. Poof. Gusling is now a godling. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me get rid of this. And then we are going to. I don't know if I have the movement for it. You might be okay. Hmm. Oh, what did I do? I might have an extra person in there. Give me one second just to make sure that I didn't screw up the board. Um, shoom. Just like that, a creature is knocked off the board. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, all right, this uh, this elf, dark elf, um, in these. Spider webbed robes runs up to Milo uh, and is going to make two attacks with her short sword. I can't count that high. First attack <laughs> is a 16 to hit. It's a hit. Okay. Second attack. Um, I think I rolled higher initially, but I accidentally bumped the die and I don't remember what it said. So the second attack is an eight to hit. Wait, misses. <laughs> You're the DM, but I'm just saying. I, 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 I'm good. I'm good. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna. I I would rather re-roll and get a lower number and yeah. assume that I rolled higher than what I actually know for a fact that I rolled. Yeah. And that's just the way it goes. Uh, okay. So it will. Be... Oh, I did cast counterspell again, even though it failed. Next. All right, my ward is replenishing a little. Got, at what, least. Six? <laughs> From that one, but I have I did it previously. I, oh, it both didn't work, but I got twelve more in my ward. Yeah. Okay. Milo will take nineteen piercing damage, and I also need Milo to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh, I so nineteen. So that's gonna be throw. gonna be seven because of my ward. But all right. That's so Con, you said. Wait. Okay. Yep. Okay. Does that not take a reaction? It just happens? Correct. If I use it on someone else, it's a reaction. Oh, uh, but for yourself, it's cool. just free? It just exists on me, yeah. Very cool. Right. That's not good. That's Even with a plus eight, that's a 12. 
Okay, 12 does not succeed. Uh, so. No. Probably poisoned. poisoned. Yeah, yeah. You probably I should have taken it. that belt of dwarven kind. You should have. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, but you're not poisoned. You just take full poison damage. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, I still should have taken that belt of dwarven kind. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Okay, that is 28 poison damage. Oh, is that all? Oh, love. Hmm, good, great. Mm -hmm. We're not finished. <laughs> I wish we were, honestly. <laughs> we're not finished. <laughs> Yikes. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> we are so okay. How much movement do these boys have? Let's see. We got. Uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We got 5, what 10, the hell's 20, that 20, thing? 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30. Uh, all right, these two, um, two like degenerate subterranean creatures that almost look like they might have been human once at some point are run toward you. Um, but it seems like they used their entire turn to get to you. Uh, now, however, this last creature. What are tumblers doing in the Underdark? Oh, she's no! moving, moving quick. Come on! What? This creature. Oh, is this a little uh, demon uh, looking witch armored creature? Yes. Per, ch per chance. It's yes, a, it is. It is a armored devilish looking creature with these horns whether the horns are part of her armor or part of her you don't know but what you do know is that, that she has these large feathered fiery colored wings um and she flies through right behind aradel um and what she does is yeah, just come over and give me a hug I really need one right about now. Is she makes some freaking attacks. Oh, uh, no, I don't like that. Okay, first attack is a 14. Jeez. Oh, uh, second attack is a crit. Okay. Do you have a luck point, just a reminder? Uh, you're rolling with advantage, right? Just for the first I one. I am rolling with advantage. Third um, attack is a 27. Yeah, I'm going to roll a luck. You re-roll that crit. Okay. Um, it's no longer a crit, but it's a 26, so it still hits. Yeah. I, 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 I would assume it still hits. I don't want to speak for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, I actually, you know what? I got this crazy <laughs> thing called does not, cannot be hit anymore. Yeah. It's great. This armor of no longer being hit. <laughs> so you are looking at uh, 22 slashing damage. Okay. As well as... 28 poison damage. Good. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna have now, to. <laughs> now the team it goes. <laughs> that was two attacks. That wasn't just one attack. That no, no, that was three attacks from from that creature that flew behind you. But yeah, but the two that hit me, right? Yeah, that, those were two two attacks. That wasn't just one. Okay. I'm just making sure you you. You, you hit me as much as you should have. I'm making sure you should, didn't forget what. Yeah. Um, and now... The demon. Uh, and... I think we're just gonna go with yield, multi-attack. Uh, biggest, you've taken damage. Correct. But an attack so hasn't hit you. If I take damage, so I do not have the cloak of displacement. Okay. Alright. You're gonna get... Oh my god. Right. Here we uh, go, boys. First one's a crit. <laughs> oh, luck? Do you have a luck still? Second, uh, you? you do have luck still. Second one is a twenty-eight. I'm gonna I'm gonna retire this die officially. <laughs> oh no, guys! Tasha was right about us all along. <laughs> this, is, this is looking rough right now, boys. Third attack is a fifteen. That Which misses. misses, right? Yeah. Use, use luck point on the crit. 
Okay, and the fourth attack is a uh, uh, is an eleven. So That's I think you had we had two hits, right? And the first one was a crit. Correct. All right, so reroll the crit. And that's the best reroll that we've had because that's a 14. So only one of those hits hit you instead of that's huge. two hitting and one of them being a crit. That, yeah, that's, that's significant. That's like game changing, I think. So that is 10 bludgeoning damage. Uh, you are also grappled, grappled. And that brings us to Aradel at the top of initiative. Right, okay. Th things have happened. They really do be happening. They really do, though. Now, I think the best course of action I can do is try to take something off the board, and the only thing I can think of is to take this big guy off the board. Uh, I think that... I'm a fighter! I hit things! And it is like a get advantage! This is a big deal. All right, that's a 24 for the first attack. That's a hit. That's a 25 for the second attack. That's a hit. That's a natural 20 for the third attack. That's Get a it. crit. Get it. Get it. Get it. I'm not. That's another natural 20. <laughs> yes. Nice. nice. Right, do me a Like roll, roll the first three, and then give me a second to actually do the math. All right, the first three. So the first attack is 15 slashing and three lightning the second attack is 13 slashing and four lightning i'm not halving the lightning by the way i'm just giving you the numbers yeah that's okay um the third attack which is a crit is going to be 17 slashing and 10 lightning okay don't roll the last one okay Aradel, this demon from the abyss was summoned into existence less than 30 seconds ago. Uh, and already, it's seen more violence than it's seen throughout the Nine Hells. <laughs> How would you like to do this? I, I would just like cut, 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 immediately turn around. Literally the last slash that knocks it down, I just turn and face this thing in front of me or behind me. Nice. Uh, yeah. And I think your your fourth hit was also a 20, right? Are we going to roll it into this? I if as if, if you want to use it then uh, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean I yeah, well, you, you rolled four attacks. Why not? There we go. <laughs> 17 slashing and 12 lightning for the that I I think I'm going to then action surge mirror image I, I've decision. I, yeah, Air, he really does not want to do this, but like he kind of panics and he pulls out the sword that Biggest gave him or Biggest did something to, and he doesn't really understand what Biggest did. And he's like, "Oh come on, Biggest!" And he just pulls it out, and then like three spectral images of Airedale just pop right next right. to him. He's like, "This is wow, okay." <laughs> but that's uh, then I'll bonus action. Uh, second win. Uh, and that's 14 health. Okay, and that's my turn. Okay. I uh, that was a fantastic moving. turn, Aerodel. It was a good turn, yeah. You, you took actions turn. off the... You took, you took a, a four attack multi-attack off the board. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Which is huge. Well, if I'm... we stay up, I'll, it'll matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that brings us to Biggest. Uh, Biggest, you're not grappled anymore. You do have one one creature. Looks like it was at one point a humanoid standing directly in front of you. What's your HP, Mike? <laughs> not 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 great. Not okay, great. okay, okay. Not not awful, but not great. Hmm? I'll say this better than mine. <laughs> I mean, you. Yep. <laughs> you could disengage. <laughs> it's not in me to withdraw. No, Biggest would try to kill this guy before he tried to disengage. Yeah. Like, but that's, that's that's not that's not a bad decision. A lot of people in these situations use their actions to stop making progress, and it screws them over. I just I'm I'm gonna try something here, and I just want to kind of 
see Ooh. see something. He's gonna I scream. like <laughs> this thought process. For so many um, reasons, this could be so uh, clutch, Michael. What are you trying to say? Yes. So unlimited power is what he's trying to see. I can cast a lightning bolt, and I'm trying to see if I can get all of these nerves, <laughs> except without hitting. It's not Milo. touching Milo. It's not touching his token. It's touching all of theirs. I would would you consider that? No. That's interesting because I've 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 never made a lightning bolt like wide like that. Like I it's would always five look feet at it. wide. Yeah, no, no. That's why I say it's it's interesting because like that that's probably how it's supposed to be used. I've always only looked at it as like a a line, like they would need to be diagonal. But uh, you raise a interesting point. I think I've been playing the game wrong. Uh, Jake too, for that matter. Um, because we've definitely done it this way in games before. <laughs> that being said, yeah. All right. I am going to cast Lightning Bolt. Okay. The one directly in front of you rolls a uh, 12. Uh, I mean, it's a 17 dex. So All right. I should start rolling my dice. Hold on. The one. Vegas, 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 Vegas. Jake rolls a 16, which is also a fail. The other yes. one behind that one fails. The uh, Everyone fails. Oh, 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 oh. Am I going to be a jerk? You should. You should. I'm, I'm going to be a jerk. Oh, can they, though? I know uh, one of them can't. They all went. They all one of them, had, and it's this is also a new a new round. They um, they. But, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is how it works. They yes, tried to cast around. something. I cast no, counter spell, and that was countered. So yeah, unless I have a there's six initiative, this isn't the top of the round. It's not the round. It's, it's them. It's it's, it's uh, everything's based on them. Yes, uh, but only one uh, of them uh, used its reaction, so one of them will okay. counter spell. And I don't have my reaction. All of them failed too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a monster. And you don't even want to know what I rolled too. Is it what level spell was that, by the way? A uh, level three. It's okay. Light That's, and bold. Yeah. All right. Michael, that was a, that was a re oh, man. I'm sorry. That was a really good. <laughs> it is what it is. Move. It is what it is. Got everything. Ugh. Stop apologizing. Um, Be ruthless. Oh no, no. It it, it is what it is. Oh, oh, no, you're all going to die, and I'm happy about that. I just want you to know that it was exactly. a good move. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You do have three more, two more secrets. That's a um, lot of damage. That could have happened. Um, Biggest is going to move back, and if he takes a, a, a an opportunity attack, he doesn't care. <laughs> all right, you will take an opportunity attack. Uh, here, here. Let me roll that. Actually, I'm starting out here. It's gonna be. I bet it's gonna be a miss. Uh, your your thing starts over, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. So with disadvantage. So that is a sixteen to hit. That misses. Nice. Right? Yeah. Nice. 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 It, is, it tries to hit you with like a, a spiked bone club. You see that it just just goes right past you. You probably didn't even hear the sound I made because, you know, whatever. I I heard it. Um. And with my bonus action, I am going to drink a potion of greater healing. A wise decision. Jacob, my, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Biggest, is, does that end your turn? Um, yes. Jacob, Milo, Copper Kettle, it is your turn. This is such a decision point I have. There are no more reactions now that i know so but i've just I, I i think i'm well i mean the person in front of me has a reaction i have five hit points so i'm kind of well i mean when i say there is no more reactions i just mean uh count count spells. Spells. yeah 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 there was no reactions it would be a very different decision point <laughs> <laughs> true the thing i'm just trying to debate now is if i'm trying to be safe or if i'm trying to be ballsy that's Go Milo, you do Milo. What's I know, Milo I know. Do? I think, I think WWMD. Milo. Yeah, what, what would Milo, Milo do? do? Is Milo feeling himself? He almost got eaten by a freaking monkey. What, what are these creatures? There's their dark elves. 
Is that right? Um, most yeah. of them are dark elves. Two of them are like those like weird like predators to be humans. Yeah. So okay, I got you. I'm doing this. I'm casting Wall of Fire. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what I'm, it, it's sixty foot. Okay. Uh, overlays. Add a line overlay. It's one foot thick, but I just think maybe this is easier to keep it on the map. I, that's what I'm thinking, right? So let me. Yeah. Sixty feet. I can rotate it, but my goal is to just obviously keep myself safe here. But does it have to be one straight line, or can you? I thought you could break it up, or no? Oh, I told you it had to be one straight up line. Up to sixty okay. feet long, yeah. or a ringed wall. Oh, or yeah. a ringed. wall. Okay. Yeah, like continuous but, is what I thought it had to be. But I want to, I want to set it up so that I'm gonna get. There's no reactions from these people, and I want to try and just like this, like, like just right down there. That's what I mean. Like I was thinking something else, but yeah. if I can somehow kill these people, yeah. So I, I, I think I'm thinking for this because it's one foot thick. Let's use the left part of it. And then it's 10 feet on one side of it. So I think I can get everybody, depending on how you want to rule this, the purple one. EA1, I think it is. Uh, let's give him advantage on the save for the oh. weirdness. Does that sound fair? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Uh, it's dex save. Yeah, dex save of 19. Uh, the two weird looking humanoid things fail. Yeah, that's an 18 for EA1. And then. And you still, you're not, oh, no, no, you said it's 10 feet on the other side, right? So like it's that, a 10 that, foot. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can hit, I could hit everybody except for the one that Aradell's fighting. It's so fighting. hot, it burns. Everybody burned. fails. Everybody, it's when okay. you too close to a fire and it burns your I leg I rolled hair. awful damage, I, unfortunately. I have to walk so that big, that, that Milo can run or, yeah. or, or not, or, or hop. Awful damage, uh, 15 fire damage. 15 fire damage. Yeah. All right. But well, times what? five, that's a good amount of damage. With 15 fire yeah. damage, this guy dies. Yeah, that's this what I was hoping. Dies. Okay, I was hoping I'd take some actions off the board and present a nice. It also is opaque, so they can't see through through it. And I think I just locked the mages off from line of sight. Uh, I think certainly, certainly seems that way. Yeah. I am going to use my bonus action to to drink a potion of greater healing. Yes. 12 plus four, so I got 16 back. That's pretty good. I'll take that. And I'm going to risk and provoke the opportunity attack and fly away. Or attempt to fly away. I don't know if this this creature took a, a, a reaction yet, but... Has not taken a reaction yet. Yeah, so it's, it's there if, if they try. All right. Let's see. 16 to hit. I have my reaction, and I'm casting shield. Okay. Yeah, I go. am flying away. Oh goodness gracious me. Uh I've got fifty feet of movement. We got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Well, I'll just go here. Forty-five. Yeah. And that is everything Milo can do in a turn. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think that means it's my turn now. All right. Uh, gonna make sure I understand how the when they take damage is it the start of their turn or the end of their turn? When it enters the wall for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. Okay. All right. So that they don't take it just for starting. Okay. I have thirty feet. Right. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No longer in the reach, right? Of the flames? Yeah. I would think no. I think he's... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then also, I won't be obnoxious and hide that section where the the mages are. Uh, and we'll stop there for now. And now, one boy's going to make an attack on Haradil. Wow. Uh, right, hold first... on a minute before you do that. Let me roll to see if you hit me or a mirror image. Oh, yeah. Keep that roll going. Do I have to tell you what I rolled first? No, I rolled and then you you roll to attack. They have and different armor classes. Depending on what I roll, 
you'll be you're making your attack anyways, but you might just be hitting a mirror image. Okay. Um. All right, you're gonna hit a mirror image for that one if you hit. All right. Yeah. Well, that was a 13 to hit, so I. Did that's not a mi hit. that missed my mirror image too. Okay. Wow. That's huge. Okay. <laughs> um. I do roll another attack, though. Okay. Well, that one's gonna hit me. Okay. That one's a 25. Uh. That's gonna hit me. Okay. Uh. Make a con save. Por favor. Con save. That is pretty damn good. That's a 23. Okay, you did save on your con. It's uh, it's 23 piercing damage, uh, but there's okay. also going to be some poison. Um, however, it will be half. Let's see, that is 25 poison damage halved. 12. Yeah. Next up, homegirl. She's going to hit you. Okay. With a long sword that she's holding in one arm. That's gonna hit me again. That one's gonna hit me. Oh. Yeah, that was a, that was a oh. 27 to hit. That fucking hits. Uh, oh. Uh, that's not her only hit, though. So okay, first well, one hits you. What about the second one? That's gonna miss. It was gonna hit the mirror image. Okay. It's a 15, which I think. That, that does break. My, that does hit a mirror image. Yeah. But it miss, oh. It misses though, right? No, it hits the mirror. It doesn't hit me, but it breaks uh, one of my mirror images, so it makes it easier to hit me. Okay. Uh, and then the next one is a 26. Come on. So three attacks, that's your third attack? That's the, that's the, the third and final attack. That Come one on. also hits a mirror image. Okay, Ooh. all right, good, good, yeah. Ooh. All right. So just one, okay. right? So, only so I have hit. one left. I have one hit and I got one mirror one, image. One left and one hit. That's not yeah. so bad, I think. Okay, six lashing damage. As okay. well as... 13 poison damage. Okay. Is that where we're ending? Is that where we're ending? Oh, 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 oh. Uh... <laughs> I, I would have done that a little bit differently, but that's how things go sometimes. <laughs> so... <laughs> Everybody, we're going to pick up in the middle of this epic combat uh, at the top of initiative with Aradel. Um, this started off looking very bleak, but... I think they might have a chance. Question mark? I started no. looking pretty bleak. I didn't have hope, and now I have a little. I'll just it's say it that way. It's <laughs> bleak. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for joining us. Uh, if for some reason reason you're, you're a crazy person and this is your first time, uh, check out the past episodes. It's a lot of fun stuff. If you want to see more of myself and of Jake and sometimes Michael, check out more videos on J&J &J Tabletop. That's this channel. And if you want to see more of Lee, youtube.com slash at this crits or link in the description. So we'll see you on the and next time. Get help. And, and get help. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Have a good night.